It's time for the RMAC Radio Show, featuring all the latest information from around the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. Welcome to the RMAC Radio Show, week number seven, and another big weekend of RMAC football action that we're going to get into. We're going to talk with our special guest today who happens to be the RMAC Rawlings Offensive Player of the Week. His name is Cody Rankin from the Colorado School of Mines. We're also going to talk with Amy Weber from Colorado Christian University, one of their outstanding volleyball players. Then we'll wrap things up in segment number three. But in football, uh, we build it as the game of the week. Uh, could have been the game of the year between CSU Pueblo and Shadron State. It did not disappoint in terms of excitement that was happening in that football game. Shadron State uh, jetted out to a 21-3 lead. Game wound up going into overtime, 45-38. The number two ranked CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves were able to pull that one out. Cameron McDondle, the true freshman running back out of Columbine High School. He was a three-star Rivals.com recruit. Of course, J.B. Matthews uh, playing ahead of him. You have uh, Ash from Widefield also ahead of him, both uh, very young running backs. But McDonald comes in, scores the game-winning touchdown. CSU Pueblo runs their winning streak to 21 in a row in the regular season. Buster Thede was our Defensive Player of the Week. He had 15 tackles and a forced fumble. After the game, John Riston had this to say about the victory. Our kids uh, was, was, withstood the ebbs and flows of the games, and we were able to find a way to win it. At the end, it, it was just one heck of a football game. I don't know whether we did anything different or not, but maybe we played with a little sense of urgency when we had to, and uh, we, we were able to make the plays when we needed to. So congratulations to CSU Pueblo. They run their record to 4-0 in the RMAC, 6-0 overall. New Mexico Highlands also at 4-0. They defeated Western State this past weekend. They are now 5-1. But CSU Pueblo now has a big rivalry game coming up this Saturday at Colorado Mines as the Ore Diggers are fresh off a victory over Fort Lewis College. And we're now joined on the RMAC hotline by the RMAC Rawlings Offensive Player of the Week. His name is Cody Rankin. Cody, how's it going today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Cody, I'm doing great. Hey, uh, congratulations on the award. I know we we uh, record the show on Monday mornings, and we put that out on Twitter, so I wasn't sure if you had received word yet or not about uh, your award this week. Are you a Twitter guy? <laughs> no, not really. I, I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking with Cody Rankin, uh, wide receiver from the Colorado School of Mines. Cody, having a nice uh, season currently, leading the RMAC in receptions with 53, uh, leads the RMAC in TD receptions with seven, and is third in yards uh, per game with uh, just over 100. Cody, I know uh, you were hoping for a great senior year, especially after having to sit out to most of last year. So in terms of uh, your personal performance, you got to be pretty happy with that. Well, I'm just glad to be playing the game. Last year was a rough year. I missed pretty much the entire season because I broke my ankle in the first game. So I wanted nothing more than just to be healthy this year if I could play every game. Talking with Cody Rankin, senior wide receiver for Colorado Mines out of Smithson Valley, Texas. And after missing last year, Cody, you also got injured your freshman year. Did you feel a little maybe snake bit or, or uh, you know, how, how are you feeling that uh, you missed a significant parts of two seasons already i gotta imagine being healthy uh, feels all that much better <laughs> yes sir i feel like both my injuries were just freak things and you know it was unfortunate i didn't get to play but i'm healthy this year and hopefully that can continue colorado school of mines currently four and two overall they are two and two in the armac and as we mentioned they are playing csu pueblo this saturday at campbell field Having missed uh, last year again, I bring that up, Cody. Sorry to do that, but uh, <laughs> do, do you uh, are you like savoring each one of these games, knowing that you know this is your senior year and that you missed it last year, and and this is your kind of last go round with uh, the sport of football? Oh, absolutely! Because now my senior year is more than halfway over, and it hasn't really set in. I won't be playing football the rest of my life. But I just want to take advantage of every game. But just really excited to get to play this year. Talking with Cody Rankin, 5'8", 160. Uh, CSU Pueblo is the opponent this Saturday. Uh, last year, you played them on a uh, national TV game. This year, uh, CSU Pueblo coming in, ranked number two in the country. They're undefeated. I got to imagine uh, this 
is uh, right now for you guys the game of the year? Well, every game is. Um, I mean, CSU Paul is a great team, number two in the nation. So just having an opportunity to play in a game like this is something every kid dreams of when they're growing up. But it should be a great game, and um, they're a great team, so it should be a good one. As we mentioned, Cody Rankin leading the RMAC in receiving, and he's a senior. And Cody, during your career, call to mind, you've had a chance to play with a number of great quarterbacks. I believe Pesek was the quarterback when you were a freshman, Clay Garcia the last two years, and now Brown. It, it seems like there has been no drop-off uh, between any of those three guys. Well, that's true. I think it's a testament to our coaching staff, what we do, and uh, getting ready each spring and each fall, and I mean, we put another quarterback in who's obviously all three of them have been great. They all know the offense, and we build this kind of relationship. They all feel comfortable with me, so that, that helps both of us out. Talking with Cody Rankin and Brown last year with your injury, I uh, got moved to receiver and, and filled in pretty well there. But uh, do you know him pretty well, I guess, from from those experiences? And then what kind of uh, difference is there catching the ball from him as opposed to Clay Garcia? Well, absolutely. Last year when I got hurt, he kind of took my spot, and I tried to help him, and he stepped up in a big way for our team last year. And I mean, each quarterback has been different, but they've been the same. Um, they're always in the film room. They always know what the other defenses are going to do. So, I mean, playing with both or all three of them has been great. Cody Rankin had 124 yards and four touchdowns this past weekend against Fort Lewis to get the Rawlings Offensive Player of the Week. Cody, or uh, Cody, I know you're majoring in petroleum engineering. Uh, Colorado Mines, the number one school in the country in terms of when people graduate, uh, they have the highest salary. So that's always a, a plus uh, when you're going to college. What kind of plans have you made for post-football and post-graduation? Yes, sir. I mean, this school is awesome. It's everything I could have dreamed of when I came here. Um, I actually signed a full-time offer with Kevin Energy, and I'll be working in Oklahoma for them starting next spring. So sad to leave football, but at least I look at, have something to look forward to once I graduate. So you're talking about spring of 2013? Yes. I'll graduate in December, and then I'll start my job next year. Wow, getting right to it. Well, I know you're uh, plenty busy, Cody. I uh, really appreciate you taking some time out, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Okay, that is Cody Rankin, leading receiver in the RMAC, the Rawlings Offensive Player of the Week, and uh, one of the better players in the conference over the last four years. If he can just stay healthy, uh, he is uh, certainly worth the price of admission. I had a chance, uh, as we get to story time here, a uh, chance to go down to Spearfish, South Dakota this past weekend and watch the Black Hill State take on Adam State. We're shooting the next episode of the RMAC Showcase from Black Hill State that will air at the end of this month. And it was a very exciting game. Adam State didn't lead until a minute to go. They win 20 to 17. Certainly Black Hill State had their chances. They missed three field goals, turned the ball over, I believe, two or three times in the fourth quarter. Adam State was able to take advantage. Trevor Eggleston did go down with a nasty-looking injury during that game. Happy to hear that he is okay, went to the hospital and checked out all right, uh, the starting quarterback this past Saturday for Adam State. But the good thing for Coach Marty Heaton, he has several guys with experience at quarterback. He was able to put Cody Davies in. He let him down the field, and they were able to win that game. Uh, David Van Voris, the kicker, is our Armac Rawlings Special Teams Player of the Week. Two or three on field goals had their extra points, but uh, more impressively, he booted every kick on their kickoffs out of the end zone. He has got a big leg and is very impressive to watch on those kickoffs. So congratulations to him for more on what happened this past weekend. Let's head over to Chris Poulton with your RMAC recap. Thanks, Eric. Game of the week was held in Pueblo Saturday as it took overtime for second-ranked CSU Pueblo to clip Shatteron State. It was Cameron McDondy, eight-yard TD to start the OT, then a swarming pack defense that ended the game. Final score, 45-38. New Mexico Highlands quarterback Emmanuel Lewis threw the ball 50 times, completing 25 of those passes for 361 yards and four touchdowns. Cowboy wideout Darius Davis was on the receiving end for two of the scores while compiling 123 receiving yards on seven catches. NMHU takes care of Western State 31-17. 
Adams State went on the road to Black Hill State as the Grizzlies were trying to end their losing ways. Things didn't look good until the fourth quarter when two David Van Voorhis 40-plus yard field goals were hit. And with just over a minute left, Michael Carl found pay dirt for ASU to cap off the 2017 comeback. Colorado Mines took a quarter to get going against Fort Lewis, but once the second quarter hit, so did the Ore Diggers. 27 points scored in the second, and all four from Matt Brown to Cody Rankin connections. CSM tramples the Skyhawks 58-16. This week's upset special was brought to you by Colorado Mesa as they go to Silver City and shut down Western New Mexico's high-powered offense. The Mavs used the ground game and Jake Similino to propel them to the 31-14 win. I'm Chris Bolton, and that's your RMAC Recap. Thank you, Chris, on the docket for Mac football this weekend. As we mentioned, CSU Pueblo traveling to Colorado Mines. That is a noon kickoff for Campbell Field and Golden. Good rivalry game. Black Hill State travels to Shadron State. That is a 1 o'clock kickoff from Down Beauty Stadium. Mexico Highlands will travel to Adams State. And Grizzlies now at 4-2 after the win over Black Hill State. As we mentioned, Highlands 4-0 in the conference. 5-1 overall. That figures that may be the highlight of the game. Mines. Homecoming at Adam State and that one that is a one o'clock kickoff. Western New Mexico makes the trip to Gunnison to take on Western State. That is also a one o'clock kickoff. And we got a night game on Saturday. Fort Lewis traveling to Colorado Mesa. That'll be a six o'clock kickoff at Stoker Stadium in Grand Junction. That does it for football. When we get back, we're going to talk some volleyball with one of the top players for Colorado Christian. You're listening to the Armac Radio Show. 